this way? I don't know. You don't get your camera. I don't. Am I supposed to? I don't know. I don't know. It's been 50 some episodes. I don't know how to do this. And <laughs> welcome to the White Jack. Bro, <laughs> what? you didn't even tell me. I wanted to catch you off guard. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> and welcome to the White Chocolate Podcast anyway. Gosh. We're, we're just going to leave in a little bit. Of prof- you know what? We're funny before we're funny. I don't even know what that means. Okay. Well, this is episode 56, Will. I am Will. <clears throat> you are. And I'm Dirk. And yeah. we are back in BLG Studios 1. Ooh. With a fresh slab of paint on it. Yeah, it looks marvelous <laughs> down here. It's much brighter. And we've never had our good equipment down here. We so. haven't. This is nice. I actually really, really like this. A lot better than any of the other yes, studios. I agree. And um, we are here involuntarily. Transferred. But <laughs> we were we were cut. We were encouraged. A, a news finally made it around, and I'll, I'll speak. I don't know. I don't want to get anybody. Um, news finally made it around our building enough that I guess enough teachers found out. And I don't know... <laughs> Suffice to I say, I don't like when you say that. We were, I was invited for a little chit chat with our principal. Mm-hmm. And among other things, one of the things she said was <clears throat> maybe, you know, you do talk about school stuff and, you know, maybe you shouldn't record at school. And I said, fair. I'm not going to argue. Like, no, it's her building. And I understand, you know, you don't. We've never really said anything critical, but even just mentioning things that have happened at school and things that have happened to me and, you know, and so she encouraged me, not really encouraged, but she told me pretty much, hey, don't record here, record. So I said, okay, fair building, your yep. building. Um, I made it clear we weren't making money and that it was after school. And But I think there was also a confusion on her part that we might be doing it during the day or that, which we didn't. But anyway, just to keep things separate, yeah. we're going to honor that request. Absolutely. <clears throat> Not a big deal. And to be honest with you, I like recording here better. It's just, and maybe it'll be more convenient for you. You can come straight home. So anyway, we're recording here. We seem to be. BLG1. Here we are. Also today. Today's episode is going to be special safety glasses. Solar eclipse all day long. All day, except mostly from two to four. And not even that long. Right when our students were getting out of school. Perfect timing. So, and as we all know, all you have to do is ask a middle school student once. To not do something? To not do something. And they generally... 100% do it. Yeah, of course. So (laughs) when we say, please don't look. And they did, in science classes today, they did make cereal boxes. Those those are very cool. They are. Those are very cool. I love love when I see the students, like, make things like that. That's pretty cool. I'll be honest, I didn't even know exactly how they were constructed. I mean, I saw, like, a diagram Mm -hmm. of tin foil here and paper Mm -hmm. there and a cardboard box. But I'm not even sure I understand the concept of it. But I saw when I was leaving today with you, we walked out and here's 30 a kids waiting for a bus right. looking up at the sun. And yeah. Most of them using some type of safety equipment. Thankfully. <laughs> so, but pretty cool. And then when I got here, I borrowed one from from a bee and mm-hmm. he, well, your son, let me use his. And I was able to look up and see the, you know, the half orange shape out of the sun. Very cool. It is very cool. Yep. Um, yeah, I, d- I don't. It's such a hard concept to master that it doesn't get darker. It's sort of an eerie medium look outside. It's Mm -hmm. like not as bright. It's almost like you're looking through glass. It got chillier too. I didn't notice that because I wasn't outside much today, but. I said it got chillier. So it got chillier from what I understand. (laughs) So so anyway, I'll I'll take your, I'll take your, fine. I'll take your word. Sorry. So anyway, well, today we're going to do three segments. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to do the last one, but we're not going to do that first. We'll do that. We'll do the second one second. And then the... The last one will be third, but it won't be third. It'll be the last one. Makes sense. And then we'll do one yeah. first. And so, and then I have a joke for you at the end, which mm-hmm. I um, I think it's good. I think it's decent today. I know you liked last, last week's. Last week's was good. And I, I this pulled from the same website. Okay. Last week's was solid. This one's not as funny, but not as long. So... You get what you pay for. Okay. All right. We're going to start off today, Will, with the 820 game. Oh, I like the 820 game. A lot of people do. A lot of people that watch us have said to me, one person has said to me, (laughs) I love the 820 game. And you know who you are, Miss Terry. That's right. So we're going to play the 820 game today. And today, instead of thinking of my own words, Will, to make my life harder, I used a random noun generator online. Okay. And I will be fair. Yes. You told me about that, and I did the same thing. Very cool. So some of the words were 
I thought I might have trouble getting there, but that's okay. It's easier than just picking pencil or Agreed. something like that. All right, my first one's pencil. No, I'm just kidding. Um, would you like to go first or shall I? I will give you yours first. Okay. We Very, didn't take out the whiteboard, but that's okay. Nice. I'll keep track in my, okay. in my head, head here. Or on my, actually, I have a cellular device, so I'll do that. Okay. First one. Oh, by the way. Okay. <laughs> audience, in case you're not familiar with the 820 game. Oh, yeah. We probably should tell them how to play. A yeah. Bit. This is the one where um, we try to, it's always a little bit difficult to explain, but it's basically like the old game show password. Will gives me a word or two words. I try to guess what word he wants me to say. And he gets 20 words. No, you get 20 words. Oh, Yes. 20 words worth of clues to try to guess eight words. So Will's got a list of eight words, and he can give me up to 20 total to get eight of all eight of his words. You know what I was thinking about earlier, too? Me? Besides you. Okay. It'd be funny if we put a time, a time on it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Not a timer, but just a running <laughs> oh, clock to see, to see how, how long. long it took us. Gotcha. E- keeping track with the 20 words also, but we'll, okay. we'll talk about that later. Okay. Ready? I would love to be. Okay, here we go. First word. Cruise. Ship. Bing bong. Yeah. That's one. Right, that's one. I can keep track or are you keeping track? I, I was, but you. Okay. Yeah. I will just put it in the, I will put it in the. Uh, are you keeping track? Yep. I'll okay. keep track. Second word. Royalty. King. Bing bong. All right. Oh, this is, we're going eight for eight. I hope so. No, I mean. I, now, you know, I don't prepare my clues. So I always go off the cuff. Not I don't. Yeah, but, but you're smarter than I am, so it doesn't matter. You Third really word. make me uncomfortable when you say things like that. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Spouse. I'm flattered, but wife. Bing bong. Okay. Oh my. God. Three for three. This, listen. Let's run right through them. Yeah. Why not? Here we go. You know what? We might get eight on seven clues. That's how lucky I'm doing so far. I might just guess the eighth one with no word. If you did, I'd stop the podcast. <laughs> That's what you said last time. Yeah, but you didn't get it. No. Number four, racket. Tennis. Bing bong. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. You know what's good? Me. Yes, and uh-huh. there's no air handler in the background. Listen I to know. how quiet it is. I agree. That's quiet. That's wonderful. That's quiet. Until my children start running say, they must be absent. <laughs> they must be absent today. Okay, go ahead. Number five. Yep. Asphalt. Driveway. Oh, man. Okay. I, I didn't. That's okay. That's all right. Here we go. Lane. Road. Yes. Okay. Fair. All right. Well, we, we got two there. <clears throat> how many How many words are you up to? Um, it, you know, I should have used something other than X's because they blend together after a while. One, two, three, four, five. We're up to six. Okay. We have six. Here we go. Next one. Picture. Mm, um, I'll go photograph or photo. Okay. Not it. Next word. You got the X there? Mm-hmm. Flash. Camera. Yes. Very nice. Very okay. nice. Up to word seven. We got plenty of wor- room to yeah. work with here. So we have- we're not even, I'm not even worried about it. <coughs> He's sitting back. I'm chilling. chilling. I'm chilling. You might as well. Take a break. Here we go. Number right. seven. Directions. Map. Bing bong. Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> I was going with drive at first, but I'm like, no, you'd have done like car or something. So I'm like, directions. Map. That's map. that. I did. I had like five for map for map because yeah. I did not think you were going to get that off the first. Maybe one. my age helps me because I'm from the age when I actually used maps when I was 16. <laughs> That's <laughs> all right. Gosh. Good. Good. Well, hey, we're good together. And you said Same you were going to guess the eighth one yourself. So yep, go ahead. here it is. Mm-hmm. It is. Bucket. No. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Uh, I guess so. Instrument. Trumpet. No. But next word. Keys. Piano. That's the game. How many was that? That, that was, was that was probably our best one yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean that's that's strong. 
last last week time we did I had nineteen. That's strong. We yeah. got it on nineteen. Maybe the random noun generator is easier. Maybe I didn't think it would be. All right, well, that's that's strong. That's 11. the best there is. The best, uh, the best there is. The best there was. <laughs> that's what, the I, was, there ever that's what I was trying to get at, but I couldn't get out. <laughs> Who was that? Brett the hit. No, Rick Flair. Nope. No. Brett the Hitman Heart. Brett Hitman Heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rick Flair was whether you like it or you hate it. You better learn to love it. Or so, there was something like that. Yes, I mean he had the so many. Of okay. Woo. Okay. Nature boy. Here we go. Nope. Mm, the strut. Okay, well, here yes. we go. Yep. I'm locked in. Why, Fence. Why did you just do that? I'm thinking. Okay. Because I didn't pre-write my clues. Mm. Fence. Privacy. Open. It's called a privacy fence. Gate. Ding, ding. There you go. <sighs> Why did you just do that? I thought that was down here. I thought the steps were somebody coming down. What steps? Was that just upstairs? Was that just walking? What are you talking Please about? Please don't tell me you heard that. You heard that. <laughs> don't do that to me. <laughs> I could that see a little bit of fear in your just eyes. A like, second. Like, like, what do you? What do you mean you didn't hear that? <laughs> We're the only ones here, Dirk. What are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be like like the uh, when you walked into my room that one podcast and then you weren't there and that oh, freaked me I didn't out. Like that. I still don't like that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> we'll keep going. Wait, are you keeping track of this too? I did. Okay, so that was two. Yeah, that's two. All right. Well, the next one, film, movie thing. That's it. Okay. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. By the way, speaking of that's it, baby. Did bye, you, bye. Did you see? Did you did you ever view my um, sing along with the? Yeah, I loved. I it was, hit the. Love oh, you did. I'm it. sorry, mm-hmm. I didn't see that. All right, well, um, mm. worker construction. I. It's okay. <clears throat> um. Paid. A paid worker. Employee. There you go. Okay. That's five. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. That, I'm, I'm I feel ready. like that's a tougher one to get. So. That was. All right, Will, here we go. I'm ready. Oh, I do not. I do not like that sound I'm, at all. I'm trying to figure out which, oh, the jaw? Yeah, I'm I didn't, I didn't out, like any of that. Trying to figure out which way to go with this. How about wellness? Health. There you go. Okay. God, thank gosh that popped into my head because I was having trouble with which one would be good for that. I'm, I'm locked in. You're, you are locked in. We're up to six. Okay, here we go. Number we're only f- on six. Only six things, and we're up to number five. Oh, we're one took two. The rest of this are is cakewalk, all right. Here we go. Dude. Notice the inflect. Oh, um, <laughs> notice the inflection here. I'm ready. Wait. I'm noticing the inflection. Um, wait, that's. I can only move my next one. <laughs> uh, can we, I forget? Can we clarify spelling? Because wait is a. Hum- oh, hum- hum- often them. Um, no. I think we did last time. Yeah, but I don't want to. It's harder like that. It is okay. Um, <clears throat> Time. Tall. Mm. The other weight. <laughs> weight and tall. Stature. Um. Mm. I'm I'm ready. Wait. And um, tall. Wait and tall. Um You don't want to tell me? Uh, man, I'm really I'm really <laughs> trying to think of a good one. I'm trying to clue you in. 
Um, how about, how about, I mean, stature is a good clue too, but how about um, elevation? Weight. Mountain? Bro, what? Weight? But the inflection, the inflection is throwing me off. Well. Weight, tall, and elevation. Dang, maybe I threw you off with the inflection. Um. I'm going to say something because we're not talking. Vitals. Oh, my gosh. Vitals. Elevation and vitals. Elevation. Um, I've, I'm afraid I've screwed the pooch. Can we can we skip and come back? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. All right. Let's go did to the Did you mark one. down the X there? I did. Okay. Program. Computer. My second clue was going to be computer. Computer program. Software. Correct. Okay. All right. We're up to 10. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Next one. <clears throat> Um, let's go with, I'm ready. Face. Head. Side. Profile. Um, full. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. That's a bad clue. Can I take that back? Nope. Okay. Face, side, full. Face, cheek. Thank you. That's it. Um, How many more words do you have? Two. Oh, my gosh. Plus the one we skipped. Dang. All right. We did nine, right? Oh, eight. So one eight. more. Okay, one more. I must have had a spare. Um, I, I, forgot. I don't know why I put nine down. All right. Um, let's say... Justified. Show. Episodes. Series. Ding, ding. Okay. And then we got one left. Oh, gosh. So we're back to this one. We had weight, weight tall, tall, elevation. Mm -hmm. um, Did you give me one more? Maybe. I don't remember. There's a word that I'm struggling to think of that um, give you the give 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 me his um, his oh vitals was the other one vitals yes uh, how about you have words to play with you have extra right. words to use I'm just I'll go this length. Weight, height, and vitals, and length. Wait, what did you just say? Length. Before that, you said weight. Weight, height. Height is the word. Oh. I never said height. You just said height, though, so that should count. Winner. <laughs> how was, that how was do a, I get to height? Like did I don't I, know. I tried weight, height. Like height and weight oh, usually go together kind of like an opposite. Inflection. Yeah. Okay, sorry. And then sorry, I was sorry. like tall. Dark and... Handsome. Okay. Elevation, like height. height yeah, of the yeah, mountain. yeah, yeah. I, I no, that wasn't was sure how else to get there. Um, let's see. You had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. I'm just kidding. It was fifteen. I was gonna say. I didn't yeah, think it gave me that many clues. <laughs> Still made it, but I was struggling. Yeah, height. I was struggling too. Height. Health was not. Well, you got it right away, but I feel like. Height. Uh, yeah, that was tough. Weight, height. Anyway. All right. Well, there's the 20 game. We both made it by 20, so that was good. Yeah. So easy, easy peasy. I mean, you, you won because you only took 11. But it's fine. 
That's a rare win. Yeah, whatever. So fine. And now, Will, we will transition mm-hmm. to segment two. The segment dose. I've I've taken a name to this one, Will. This okay. is another draft, but we're gonna. I want to delineate between our different drafts. Delineate. This is our low budget draft. It is okay. Would you care to explain it because you've seen it before and you're the one that brought it to our podcast? So, yeah, I've seen it on a few different podcasts. What we're gonna do is instead of just drafting certain things to our team we've given each one of these draft items a monetary value and we are we have 15 dollars to play with so we have to build our team of five using the 15 Mm dollars and like i said each each one of the items on the draft board gets a monetary value from one dollar to five dollars and they are sort of in categories that Correct. are sometimes so, funny, sometimes a weird way to think of somebody in a category. So, yes, the the five dollar items or the five dollar person or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be would probably be the best of the of, of the bunch. Gotcha. While the one dollar items would be the so, lower. So much like if you're drafting for an actual team, you can go for the star five dollar guy. Yeah. But then you're going to have to sub in some lower dollar guys to Correct, try to, to complete fill out your, your team because you can't top 15. Correct. So, And there are multiple of each level. Yes, there's so. three three people or items in each <laughs> in each category. Okay. And the category that you've picked for today. This is not a this is not an original idea. This is something I saw Okay. Um, another podcast do but I thought it was very funny. Okay. Um, this is <laughs> the team that you would draft to help you <laughs> battle in a street fight. Okay. And Dirk has not seen the draft board I yet. Not. I am getting ready to send him the draft board <laughs> as we spoke. So I'm going to be looking at this for the first time. Yes, you are. Trying to pick my team of uh, who I would want to help me in a street fight. Please let me know if you need clarification on any of the peeps on that board. What about but, Claire? Uh, she won't be watching for another okay. week or so because she's still behind. All right. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Sorry if that's a little small. No, nope, it's on just your... fine and dandy. The street fight. <laughs> the street fight draft. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this up on the screen in some fashion. Yes. Or the post-production crew will. Yeah. But we'll just read through it real quick. So our $1 people are Popeye, the Sonic, Man. and Shrek. Mm-hmm. Our two dollar people are Bowser, <laughs> Donkey Kong. I don't know Poe. Okay, he's uh, the the panda from Kung Fu Panda. Okay, all right. He's, hey, don't sleep on Poe. I I've seen I've seen okay. I've not seen the movie, but I've seen some excerpts. You've never seen it. Never seen Kung Fu You've Panda. Never seen That's it. Not, is that a Disney thing or is that a is that a incredible um, uh, Minions? I think it's Illumination. A, uh, is Kung Fu Panda Disney? Is it DreamWorks? Maybe. I thought it was maybe Dream. I don't maybe. know. I don't. It's definitely not Disney. Number three, you get yourself the Darth Vader, the Optimus Prime, and Kratos. Kratos, re- refresh. He's the God of War on uh, a lot of the video games. Okay, all right. Who's also made an appearance in Mortal Kombat? Oh yeah. Four is Spider Man, Iron Man, Mister Incredible, and five is Superman, Hulk, and Thor. <laughs> So right. obviously you got your heavy hitters at the top there, and I guess we'll do odds and evens to see who gets but no the draft first. At the bottom, um, yeah, I can. You want me to generate sure, a number? I'll guess even. Siri, pick a number one through fifty. Forty-eight, even. Forty-eight, and you picked even, right? I did pick All even. All right, so you are. Up for we didn't we didn't pick our we didn't get the boards out but we'll have to remember and keep yeah. track in our head. It's they're right here. I can no reach them easily. You don't think we need them? It's up to you. I don't. Okay. I I think we're good. Okay. Unless you want the uh, the crowd <coughs> to see the board held. held I there. can. I'll put it up. Okay. Post. I just have to remember my people. Um. Okay. So, you know, having not seen this game before, I'm yeah. trying to figure out the strategy. Okay. I feel like if you're going to take a five, you want to take them early only because the fives are typically your more powerful people. However, mm-hmm. if you blow it on five, you're left with 10 to split amongst four mm-hmm. other. Is there five people we pick? You're picking five. Yeah. You're so, getting five peeps here. So then you can only average twos 
right? If you take a five, I mean, that's I don't, tough. Don't ask me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to do the math in my head. Okay, well, I'm not going to help you. Ten with four, that's only two and a half. So you'd have to take only twos and threes if you take a five. So you know what? Because of that. It's not true, by the way. It's not? What? You could take all the ones. What happens if you get to 14 and there's nothing left but twos? You guess you're rolling with four. Oh, man. That's uh, it's tough. Okay. All right. You know what? I don't know. I'm going to go right off the bat while well, your, your boy's, boy's got, got dollars. dollars. I'm going to take a $4. I'm going to take a $4 and I'm going to take Iron Man. <sighs> he flies. He's got super strength. He's most importantly, he can the mind control. He's very intelligent. Oh, he's he is smart. very intelligent. He's the smartest. But he's also got the. Well, yeah, he's got the blasters. The blasters. The pew pew blasters. Yeah. All right. So Iron Man is off the board. So I'm going to take Iron Man for four dollars. Here's what I'm going to do, Derg. Oh no. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take. A powder. I'm going to take what I think is the best value on the board, and I'm going to take a three dollar, and I'm going to start with Kratos. Okay, the God of War, because uh, he's incredibly powerful, and uh, he looks like just the most jacked person. And I feel like if I was walking up with him in a street fight, people would not want to fight me. You know, you're probably right. Although you're walking up with somebody in a, in a suit that flies, so I think you're in good shape also. Well, I mean, you know, I didn't want to say that, but I feel like Iron Man's got a pretty strong charisma. Mm -hmm. He's got the riz. Yeah, go ahead. You're up. All right. Um, let's see here. I think number two. Mm -hmm. For sheer strength, I'm going to take a number two here, and I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Bowser. Okay. Here's why. I, hey, he was a sleeper for me. I like I like the Bowser pick. Bowser, because if, if, okay, you can't get close to him because he'll kill you up close. Yeah. He's just strong. And he has that potential of throwing the fireballs at you from a distance. He does. And they explode. So while you're dancing around watching out for Iron Man, yep. now you got fireballs coming at you God, left and right. You don't want that. Now, the only question I have for you. What if there's lava? No. Can you count? Can you trust him? Bowser? Can you trust him to do the right thing when... when, when No, you can't. That's why I'm going to be the bad side of the fight. I'm going to be the evil. I'm the heel. Okay. Bowser loves being the heel. Okay, so maybe you have that to play with, but Iron Man does not love being the heel. As a matter of fact, he is the biggest hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You're right. That's why. Oh, here we go. That's why you tell Talk Bowser... Talk your way out of that you one. You tell Bowser mm -hmm. we're the heel. Uh-huh. Because Bowser, he's he's... He's a he's not as smart. So what you do is you use Bowser's need to be the heel against him. Okay. And you tell him these people over here, they're trying to be goody two shoes. No, we want to take them out. They're not. Right. And then Iron Man and I, we pal up and Iron Man's like, Yeah, I agree. <laughs> they're trying to be good. And then okay. Bowser's like, They're the good guys. Well then I'm all in, fellas. All right. And so you trick him. Hey, if you feel like you can trust them, you do you. I mean, you know, I'm trying. I uh I'm gonna go ahead and pull a uh Pull a what? I'm going to go ahead and pull a five off the board. Mm. And I'm... Oh, you, you don't want me to take a five yet? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take... I already know. Your favorite? Yeah. You got to take just the Hulk. Be, just because he is my favorite. And I need him on my team. Strong. You, he just... I want him to walk up as Bruce Banner. And then I want somebody to throw the first punch. And okay. I just want to see what the other team does when he just transforms into the Hulk in front of them. It is an amazing transformation to watch. However, I feel like his range is a little bit limited. Now he's got the super jump, right? Yeah, he can. Uh, he can actually planet jump. So I don't know how much what, okay. what, what well, your range is limited. Yeah, then, I don't know what okay, you're talking then I guess about there. I'm, I guess I'm wrong. But I mean, for the attack, he's got to jump and smash, jump and smash, as opposed to. Well, I mean, he he can punch up close. I'm just trying to think. His ranged attack would be a jump and smash. 
I'm not. I'm not saying that's negative. No, I'm. I'm. What do you mean? A jump and smash? He's got like if we're far away at the, during the fight, he's got to do the jump and the smash, or he will just clap he his doesn't... hands and shoot you backwards using the hawk strength. Oh, see, I didn't know about the hawk. Strength. I know. I I'm know. sorry. Okay, good. So you got Hawk and you got Kratos. I do, and, and you have Man and Bowser. Mm-hmm. So you're at eight bucks. I'm mm-hmm. at uh, six bucks. Yep. All right, Will. Um, dare I do this? Dare I do it? I think I'm going to do it. I think there's no reason not to. Will, you know who you know who needs to be taken. I want you to tell me right now. For three dollars, who's that? You got to take Darth Vader. I, if you're building a heel team, yeah. You're I, listen. I'm. I'm a little worried about your squad. Yeah. Well, you want evil, and there's no. I mean, you look. We're all fighting for a team. Maybe we're getting paid to fight. Maybe yeah. Whatever. I hope you're paying him well because he likes to be paid handsomely. Darth Vader he, does. He does. And here's the other thing. Uh huh. A little bit more fragile, maybe than the other two. Yeah. He's, he's getting up there in years. He is. But the force pull and the force push still strong. The, with that one. Without even touching you, you mean you mean the, it's, it's, that's okay. I'm good. And you can't breathe. Yeah. He does that. You're shut down. A man can't breathe. He can't fight. That's that's a good point. I learned that in Karate Kid. <laughs> okay. You break his ribs. Man can't breathe. He can't fight. I'm the only thing that concerns me. I li- I like it. I th- I just worry about how him and Bowser play together. That's all. Easy. Okay. Because here's the thing: if Bowser accidentally loses it with Darth Vader for some reason. Vader's got the lightsaber to fend off. Vader will de- redirect the fireballs with the lightsaber to the enemy. Okay. So you just you have a lot of egos on your team. That's all I'm saying. It's true. You, you got to know how to play with them. Okay. As yeah. long hey, you're like um, you're like some of the best coaches. If you can handle the egos, you can build a superstar team. Just call me Coach K. Okay. All right. Here we go. Will. Yes. Oh, I was <laughs> waiting for your next one. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna take. I'm going to go ahead and take mm. mm-hmm. That's right. It ain't easy when it's on your side. Of the- no, it's fine. It's fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and give me um Yeah. Go ahead and give me Mr. Incredible. Okay. I number 1 He became a good family man at the end of that movie. It's a good dad. I feel like he started off a good family man. He did, but he was hiding some stuff from his family, and of course. so don't we all? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess it's just me then. <laughs> Why'd you look so far to my soul when you said that? <laughs> I, I like I moment. like Mister. Well, number one, I mean number two. I already said number one. That movie mm-hmm. for me is just nostalgia. I love I love yes. the movie. Mister Incredible's tough. Tough sum of gun. He is. My favorite is when he's deciding when when he's dealing with the people in the insurance office. Oh my gosh! And he's uh, he's just down to room two seventeen. Yeah. Yep. He's trying to help the old lady get a clean. Yeah, um, he's a good guy. He is, and Big he heart. fights fights for what's right. Yep. So, just like Junri. That's right. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna pair him with with Hulk and with Kratos. Okay, I we got it. some big brutes on our team right I, now. I love it. Unfortunately, Will, mm-hmm. you made a mistake. Oh, no. You didn't take the number five. I don't even know what that means. That's a lightning bolt. Oh, Will. okay. That is Thor. Okay. I'm taking Thor the right of, off the, the map. The god of thunder. The okay. god of thunder. Because first, powerful. Uh, extremely. Second, intimidating. Yeah. Third, God. I mean, Greek god, yeah. four, devilishly handsome, especially with a shirt off. Yeah, can't beat that. White flowing beard. We look alike. Yeah, I, well, that's what I was gonna say. And and number five. It sounds like his name is being pronounced with a lisp. It's how I feel most every day when I wake up. I feel Thor. And you knew you were going to do it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You thought so. All right. So. So you got a five, four, and a three as well. I do. And you know what? Wait, as well. Oh, you took four people so far. Yeah. I've taken three. I got a five, four, three, and a two. Yes. I'm going to take. I'm going to take Sonic. 
I'm going to take Sonic the Hedgehog. I think that's the best pick there at number one. He's extremely fast. He is. Incredibly flat, like Quicksilver fast. Understood. I don't know if I'm familiar enough with Sonic to know what damage he can do. Um, Please do me a favor after we watch or mm-hmm. finish the podcast yeah. and watch some clips of Sonic. And okay. Just, then you'll see. Okay. Um, He's going to hit you from all angles. Okay. And he can. it might look like he's far away. One second, and then he's going to be up on you, busting you in the head. Like a convex mirror. That. So I have uh, Sonic, Kratos, Mr. Incredible, and Hawk. Sonic, Kratos, Mr. Mr. Incredible, Incredible mm-hmm. and the Hawk. Well, my number five. Mm-hmm. Got to be a $1. Yep. Because I'm out, of, I'm out of dough. Yep. And Will, he am who he am. Mm. I knew you were going to do it. I got to take Popeye. Got to take Popeye. I hope you're going to carry spinach with you at all times. That's fine. Okay. Popeye typically carries his own. Okay. But, you know, he just, and he uses that thing where he cuts open the can and then squeezes it into his face. I'm familiar familiar with his game. I just, um, I don't know how that's going to work when he's in the middle of a fight. That's all. He he works with Bluto. Okay. I mean, he just, he gets him with a one, two, gets him with the old the cross old right one, undercut, uh-huh. and then he takes a half second mm-hmm. to shoot the spinach in. It doesn't take him long. It does. He's got it down to a science, right. I feel like. He's, he's, been doing he's it perfected his craft. And, you know, I've never seen a guy with such small elbows and such giant forearms. Yeah, it's actually incredible. He could be the real Mr. Incredible. Except for he's not. He's not. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. I think okay. that's, that completes my team. So what do you, you got? Took, you took Thor. Iron Man. Iron Man. Darth. Bowser, Bowser and Popeye. Pop. Okay. And I have Sonic, Kratos, Mr. Incredible, Hawk, and I'm going to round my team out with a two. That's all I have left. Can I make a prediction? Sure. You're going Poe. I am going Poe. Because of the Kung Fu. Uh, he, I need a martial artist on my team. I agree. Um, and I think my team is incredibly versatile. Mm-hmm. Um, and I am ready to whoop your team's butt. Okay. When it's all said and done. You know, the only thing better than us talking about it would be if there was some kind of a game simulator that we could plug these five against five in and see how the game said it would win. We should build it right now. (laughs) If we knew how. (laughs) If we knew how, we wouldn't be doing this podcast. (laughs) Good point. All right, very good. So Thor, Iron Man, Vader, Bowser, and Popeye on my side. Mm -hmm, I feel great with Vader, just having Vader. I like at three. I feel feel like he was a steal at three. I feel like. Kratos is a steal at $3. Yeah, I agree. I mean, so, mine's, a, mine's a god. Good list. Fine. Yeah, well, I mean, they got a god, too. Uh, yeah, no got problem. Thor, who's mm-hmm. a $5 god. You're yeah. a little $3 god. <laughs> <laughs> so when when will the street fight take place, Will? Uh, we're gonna, we uh, Tentatively, we set it up for June 17th. Tickets? Uh, yeah, they're on sale at Ticketmaster. Okay. Uh, and if you want to get close to the ring, you're going to have to spend a pretty penny. It's going to be about... Four to five hundred dollars a ticket. So I have, a, I have an idea. What yeah. if we did it on Juneteenth because most people are off? Mm. More people could come. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that is segment two. Segment. Dose. Tell us who you would have picked. I'm not sure. Yeah. Let, let's let's hear your teams. Tell us who you, you would have picked, and if there's any uh, street fighters here, you would take instead of the ones that yep. we picked. Please build your your best team for your fifteen dollars. That would be right. Let them send us their choices. Yeah. Just give us five. Yep. And we'll we'll read them in the future. Yep. Uh, and we'll we're gonna stop here on segment two, and then we're gonna move on to segment the last one. The last segment. Will the last one? Here's what we're gonna do. You tell me. We are going to, well, do I want to keep this new copy? Yes, save, please. Thank you. All right. I just saved that. I made notes on who picked what. So okay. Well, I did a man on the street today. Woman on the street. And, oh, you know what? What? Darn it. I completely forgot that I had those. Oh, uh, well, we'll be okay. Let me see if I, it's got to be here. Pat for me, Will. Pat? Is that what you mean? Pat? Mm-hmm. Okay. How long do I have to do this? How long? I'm sorry, what? Okay. I was patting on my microphone because you said pat. How about this? Okay. How about what? How about blue? Man on the street. Very nice. Thank Thank you for the introduction. Yes, thank you to Mr. Gage. That's our man on the street promo. Uh, You want to hear that one more time, Will? Sure. He worked on it very hard. I think it's very good. Man on the street. 
It's great. Great reverb. It's great. Thank you, Mr. Gage. Yep. All right. So our man on the street interview. I forgot I had those. Thank goodness you reminded me. Our man on the street interview today, Will, we have a substitute teacher in our building who is there very frequently. Yep. He's a permanent sub to Nielsville named Mr. Cedars. He's awesome. He is awesome. Great guy. What a life story. Interesting man. Yes. Like we found out one day we were sitting there talking to him that he spent, what, 15 years or something living in, in Southeast Asia, mm-hmm. Cambodia yep. or Thailand or uh, somewhere. Wasn't Vietnam, I don't think. Indonesia? Maybe. I forget. But anyway, we were talking about Can't all kinds of cool stuff. I guess. Well, I mean, it's. I just don't I'm remember. Kidding. Yeah, but, I agree. Yeah, I found it tremendously interesting. I, I agree with you. Um, so anyway, I asked him today if he would be willing to answer 10 10 mm-hmm. trivia questions. Yep. Got these on a are you smarter than a fifth grader type of website. So mm-hmm. here we go. Your job, if you choose to accept it, is to predict whether he gets the question right or wrong. I choose to accept it. I hope so. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Okay, and here we are with another man on the street interview. And today I'm going to do an interview with Mr. Cedars, one of our long term subs at our school. So, Mr. Cedars, I'm going to ask you 10 questions, <coughs> and uh, you just give me your best answer to each one. If you don't know, that's okay. And Mr. Kelly's going to try to guess uh, which, which questions you'll know the answers to and which you won't. So, here we go. So, sorry, first of all, there's just a lot of echo. We were in the hallway. Mm-hmm. So. But here we go. Question one. Question one. Where do players waiting to take their turn to bat sit on the baseball field? He knows that it's the dugout. Okay. The answer? In the on deck circle. Ooh. That, to be fair. It's tricky because it said sit to wait to bat. Oh, uh, okay. So then. So it would be dugout. It would be dugout. He, he, he think, knew. He thought waiting to bat would be. St- the standing yes yeah the, so all right oh for one oh for one he's still i'm i mean i'm giving him credit he knew what he was talking about correct he does he actually knew what he was talking about more than i thought like more than say. the question right yeah all right here we go mm-hmm. question two who discovered and named the force of gravity in 1665 we're going we're going yes he knows and i i was i was in room 1666 and it was loud they were very loud when he discovered it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. Um, what was his name? Oh, Sir Isaac Newton. There you go. One for two. One for two. Next one. It scared me just now when he said, what's his name? Mm-hmm. Question three. Okay. Which is the largest country in the world? Correct answer is Russia. I'm gonna say he. I'm gonna say he knows that. Because we know he traveled the world, yes, right? Yes, I mean, he's very familiar with land. Okay, here we go. China. Oh, it's a tough call. That is tough. That is yep. okay. All right, here we go. Next one for one. three. Rush is huge, by the way. It is huge. Just like question four. Question four. In a fraction, what is the number above the line called? So we know he, the answer he, is numerator. numerator. Yes, and he uh, he's taught and subbed in math classes i'm going to say yes he knows what that is okay oh god i learned that numerator (laughs) come on it's like when he he, i know when he's second when he little at the end it's like numerator (laughs) when he second guesses himself he gets it right yes all right here we go two for four nice noticing all right here we go question five what is a group of penguins called was a group of penguins called the correct answer i didn't know penguins i'm gonna say he does not know it it is colony okay a colony of penguins okay Ooh, i'm not sure covey <sighs> he was close close and he when i close. told him the answer afterwards he was like well i got the c yeah. o and the y yeah so he was he was not far off all right so i'm i'm three for five all right here we go question six within three percent what percentage of the Earth's surface is covered with water? So the answer is seventy percent. Okay. Okay. So you I would have been, to get. I would have been wrong. I was going to say seventy-five. Okay. Well, he. I. I almost went five percent within five, but then I thought mm, that's a pretty wide gap. So he would have to go between sixty-seven and seventy-three. Correct. I'm gonna. I'm. He's gonna hit it. So you're going yes. Yes, I'm gonna say yes. He's okay. gonna get this one. Here we go. Ninety-six percent. Little high. I'm wondering if he was confusing the percent of your body that's water, because isn't that supposed to be like ninety eight percent or something? I don't know. Something yeah. high. 
Okay, so that's a three no. for six. Three Dang. for six. I gotta, I gotta lock in here. All right, here we go. This is tough. This he's a tough well, one. He he is tough. He's well, he's very unique. Yes, like he's a unique personality. I agree. So you're not sure what he might know and not. Plus, know. I just don't know him well Correct. enough yet. Correct. What is the process of water turning into vapor called? He knows this. He okay. teaches in science classrooms. And the correct answer is evaporation. Evaps. Water turning into vapor. Here we go. Oh, man. No. I learned that last year. I don't remember. No. I learned that last year, but I don't remember. He knows. Did he, you tell when you told him he was going to yeah. say, oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. Evaporation. Yeah, very good. All right, three for set. Man. All right, here we go. Number eight. Who wrote the famous play Romeo and Juliet? Yes. Okay. He, I, he's got I, shake. He's I got would, the shake down. I would guess. Billy Shake. Yep. Will Shakespeare. Will. I like, he knows it. He's up there on a first name first basis. First name basis. <laughs> All right, here we so go. So is that four for seven? Four for eight. Four for eight. Okay. Should be, there should only be two more. Okay. That sounds about right. Yep. Here we go. Question nine. Yeah. On the periodic table, which element is represented by the letter N? See, now I'm conflicted because he didn't know the last science question. Mm -hmm. I understand. That's the name of the game. Pick the letter N. What's represented by the letter N? Is it nitrogen? It is. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, come on. All right. I'm going to give Mr. Cedars one more shot here. Okay. I'm going to say yes, he knows. Okay. Nitrogen is the answer. And now you, you're four for eight. I need so these need two. both. I need them both. So without this one... Uh, it's over for me, Johnny. As far as a winner. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's... Drum roll, please. Nitrogen. Oh, my God. Piece, right out piece of the gun. Of cake. I mean, center target, 10 points. Let's go. All right, here we go. All right, last last one. Cedars, lock in here. <laughs> like he can hear you. Yeah. Question 10. Uh huh. What does a paleontologist study? Dinos. So now let me ask you this question. Sorry. The official answer when I look this fossils. up fossils? Fossils. Yeah, I mean, I just said dinos because of Ross from Friends. Understood. He was, a di he was a so dino the dino doctor. So if he doctor. says fossils, he's got it right. If he says dinosaurs, do you want to count that? We don't have to. Fossils, if the fossils are If he down. says bones, I mean, would you, I mean, I'm a, I want to know before we play it, just because I want to be fair to you and him. I, f I feel like you're, can you not do that? Sorry. Why are you petting it? I just. I f all right. So if he says dinosaurs, pleasing. he obviously doesn't mean living dinosaurs. You know, a, I mean? you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, obviously, there's okay. the study of fair. fair. But we can go with what's on the paper. I don't care. It's your call. No, it's not. It's your game. Okay. I say... I say we go with dinosaurs or fossils, but nothing else. Okay. Now, what's your, what's your guess? I, I'm going to say he said... That he knows it. I'm going to say he knows it. Okay. Here we go. Dinosaurs. There you go. So you made your six out of solid. Ten. A solid. I mean, by the skin. Welcome to America. That was <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> by the way, I will share with you on the not to not to cross promote, but on Curious Minds this coming Saturday should be our coworker, Mr. Mr. Heraldo's episode mm -hmm. about what it's like to come to the United States. And there's a funny story in there about him coming to the United States and what score he needed to pass in order to get his citizenship. Gotcha. So for anybody that wants to check it out, it's on the Curious Mind side of things. Understood. And then here we go, just the little outro. Okay, and that is our Man on the Street interview. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. you, Mr. Cedars. Cedars. You're welcome. I, 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 I hope Mr. Cedars, I, he didn't know we did a podcast, so I shared this with him. I hope that he won't take offense to this, but here's what, to me, he reminds me of the voice of Chester Cheetah. From like the old books, the I I won't try to do it, but go maybe when we're done here. I don't mm -hmm. mean to tell you what to do. Yeah, don't go look up Chester Cheetah or, or, or Cheetos or whatever, whatever the Chester Cheetah is, and just listen to him speak. I feel like Mr. Cedars has That's sort of the same, like. like some of the same pacing in the way he hmm. talks. It just popped into my head when I was hearing him today. Understood. Anyway, well, that is our third segment. You That's eked by all she wrote. Eked, and I barely made it out alive. Pretty good. We both won at eight twenty. Okay. Um. There's no winner or loser. In oh, low there's budget. a winner and a loser. Okay. You won. Thank you. And then man on the street, you won again. 
It's, Two for three is not bad. Will's day. <laughs> All right. Will, would you like to hear a joke? I'm not really, but I'm, you're going to tell right. it to me anyway. That's true. Uh, Will, there was a priest, a doctor, and a comedian, mm-hmm. and they were waiting one morning. This, you might like this because it has to do with waiting your favorite sports. Waiting or waiting? Waiting okay. with a T. One morning for a particularly slow group of golfers that okay. was playing in front of them. Golfers. Uh, the comedian, a normally happy fellow, was fuming, just so frustrated. Mm-hmm. And he said, what is with these blokes? We must have been waiting for like 15 minutes for them to get through this hole. The doctor chimed in, I don't know, but I've never seen such inept golf. They're terrible. Mm-hmm. And the priest said, here comes the greenskeeper. Let's have a word with him about these guys. So he said, hello, George. What's wrong with that group ahead of us, man? They're rather slow, aren't they? The greenskeeper replied, oh, yeah, that's a group of blind firefighters. They lost their sight, saving our clubhouse in a fire last year, so we always let them play for free anytime. Oh, man. The group fell silent for a minute, kind of feeling bad, and the priest said, that's so sad. I think I'll say a special prayer for them tonight. The doctor said, that's a good idea. I'm going to contact my ophthalmologist colleague and see if there's anything he can do for them. Yeah. The comedian said, if they're blind, why can't they play at night? <laughs> Well, he's got a point. They no, wouldn't I, hold anybody else up. I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> By the way, speaking of blind sports. Okay. One of the things that's fascinated me the most is when you watch the kids that play softball with the beeper ball. Oh, yes. That, n- not in a teary way, but that is fun to watch. Yeah, it's Those cool. kids are amazing. It is very cool. And I've, I, did, I don't think I saw that until maybe five or eight years ago was the first time I'd ever heard of it. Mm-hmm. And it just, the, they go by the sound of where the ball is yep. based on the beeping of the ball. They hit, they, it, it's, it's amazing. It they run really the cool. bases. It's, yep. it's cool. Anyway, Will, that's our uh, episode 56. That's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. The solar eclipse. We're done. The solar eclipse episode. Cereal boxes and special glasses or whatever we call it. And we're going to post, we're going to post special. it. Special. Uh, Special glasses. Oh, glasses. With a G. Oh. Goal. With a hard G. Got you. <laughs> and we'll, we'll post this one on Friday at 5. Right now, it, you know what? Right now, it is 5.52. Somewhere. In Susan Austin's house. And they have just finished watching the podcast. Good for them. So happy Friday evening, Susan happy Austin. Happy Friday evening, And everybody. Coach Austin. Yeah. And everybody else that watches, thank you very much, people. Thank we you, will everybody. be back next week. Do the thing. And... Right, all of that. I don't know what that means. And we'll, I don't either. And we'll, we'll see you again. Nice week. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>